Hey guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. So today we are going to be doing the Dogs Pick My Makeup Challenge. Um, I'm so late to this challenge, but I wanted to do it when it first came out. But, you know, life happens and suddenly um, I'm in Tennessee. So, um, I don't know if I've told you yet on this channel. I'm probably going to do a, like chit chat get ready with me situation so I can tell you all about what's going on in my life but that's why the background is different and also like so hectic in this video like uh, we moved in just a couple days ago this video might actually be like delayed a bit because I do have previous videos that I haven't edited August 29th is when I'm making this video we moved about a week ago. I'll tell you all about it in my get ready with me. So this video I'm gonna have my dogs pick my makeup. I decided that I wanted to do it a little differently than uh, previous videos. It seems like they're just like which one? And the dog just like will sniff one and that's what they choose. I kinda set out a bunch of challenges for my dogs or uh, I don't know, different fun activities. Basically they had a great day and uh, and now I'm gonna do my makeup based on all the fun they had. A real quick introduction to my dogs before we get started. Um, Rogue's in the background. I'll call her over in a second. But this guy right here. Oh sorry. I'm sorry. This here is Waffles. Puh. He's my firstborn. He's seven years old. He's a mama's boy. He's very lazy. He's quite a cuddler. This little girl right here is my second baby. She's about two years old. We bought her for my husband. She's a toy Australian Shepherd and she has too much energy. I forgot to mention, Waffles is a multi-poo. Those are your competitors. Let's get to makeuping. So one of Rogue's favorite things to do is play fetch. In our old house, she would literally sit by the basket that held all the tennis balls and just like lay near it and cry until we would go and get one of the balls. So I actually knew what her favorite ball was at our old house so I decided to buy her new ones. So we've got three new balls here and they're gonna correspond to different foundations. If she chooses the eight ball we're gonna go with Beauty Blender foundation. If she chooses the baseball we're gonna go Amazonian clay and if she chooses the soccer ball we're gonna go with my usual. You want one? Oh, you do. Okay. Just Ready kind of toss them like nearby. Yeah. Go get one. Oh, she's picking. Go mm. get it. None of them. We're gonna go with this one because she actually picked it up with her mouth. So, as many instances in this video, that did not go as planned at all. As I said, we just moved across the country. So we're in a new apartment, a new dog park, new smells, and she was not interested in playing fetch today. We decided to go with the ball that she chased after and picked up before she got distracted by all the smells and, you know, needed to spread her own scent because dogs. And that is Bounce by Beauty Blender. Alright. I actually ended up bringing more makeup than I wanted to bring to Tennessee because I knew that I was gonna shoot this video. I feel like this uh, foundation is a little thick for the humidity here. I feel like anywhere that's like high humidity doesn't uh, doesn't work well for for full coverage foundation. Next, we had Waffles pick out which concealer I'm gonna wear by uh, picking out a new toy. Waffles is a really lazy dog, but he loves new toys. So again, they had the best day ever today. I just bought him two new toys and, and saw which one he preferred. And he had an opinion. So, Waffles is going to be picking my concealer. If he decides on the Hedgehog, it's going to be Tarte Creaseless Concealer. But if he decides on the Lion, it's going to be 
Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Do you want one of these? You want one? These are for you. Which one do you want? Okay, ready? Okay, he's gonna decide. He's decided. Oh. He's decided. Hedgehog, it is, you guys. My favorite part about this is that he like made a conscious decision. Like he sniffed both of those and he chose. So we're gonna go in with this little sample guy that I have of the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, which is nice because uh, it's one of my faves. So I'm gonna cover this like zit that I got on the road. Like, being in a car, guys, it's not fun. Normally I would do like two different kinds of concealers, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to put that on him. I feel like this concealer is a bit tackier and thicker than other concealers that I have, which is nice. It helps it like stay put really well, but it's also got a very like wet look as you can see. So I'm definitely going to set it with some powder. All right, so I have given myself a lot of powder because we're moving on to eye look next. So to choose my eye look today, I decided that I wanted to play a little game of hide and seek with the puppies. So I had my husband go outside and wait with the dogs until I found somewhere to hide, set up my camera, <laughs> hid somewhere, and then whoever found me first would determine what eye look I was going to do. I had Rogue be a smoky eye because she has smoky eyes herself. I had Waffles be a neutral look because he is a very neutral colored dog. And then if they found me at the same time, it was going to be a bright, colorful look. Where is she? It's hard to find. Not in there. You just threw a thirsty? Okay. I felt like this one was gonna be a surprise to me no matter what because this is a new house and I don't know how they're gonna react to hide and seek in a new house. Waffles would usually find me first in the old house um, or they would come together. So I was not 100% expecting to do a smoky eye. So let's, uh, let's, let's dive in. I'm gonna start with Desert Vibes, which is a warm taupey color. I'm going to put that in the crease. And then I'm going to take a darker taupe color right here. And then I'm going to place that in the crease as well. So normally at this stage of the smoky eye, I would put like a NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in like black all over my lid but I forgot it in California, so instead I'm gonna put this ColourPop Cricut all over my lid instead. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little packing brush and this matte black. I'm gonna put it on either side of my eyelid, leaving just the center with that Cricut color. Pack it on. And then to blend that guy out, I'm just going to take this deep brown here on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff the outer edges of that into the transition colors that I've already put down. Just blending it out with the transition colors again. I'm actually going to go in with that color pop shade one more time and just pop it on the center of my lid. There we go. All right, well, normally with a smoky eye, I would line my waterline with black, but I didn't bring 
oh, black cream liner for that. So instead, we're just going to keep on trucking. And then we're just going to do kind of the same on the top as the bottom, outer and inner with black. Meet it in the middle with this color pop. There we go. And then blend it out in kind of reverse order than we did the uh, top. So dark brown and then some of this warm tone. And I'm actually going to put Artist Pass. It's this uh, teal brown shift color right where I put the color pop. Just to help it be a little more dimensional. I might do that on the top too, actually. Yeah, that's cool. This is also inadvertently an Honestly makeup tutorial. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video for Honestly by Gabby Hanna, it's actually a really good song. So I hate the way that black looks in my inner corners so I'm just gonna take like a highlight shade this one is like a white with a gold shift called Beeman and just pop that right in my inner corner all right so I think that's the eyeshadow fairly done I didn't have enough products for my dogs to pick out my eyeliner and eyebrow stuff so I'm just gonna do eyeliner and brows off camera and then we'll uh, get back to the action. Next task that I did was pretty quick and easy. My dog Waffles is the cuddle king, but he will tell you if he does not feel like cuddling. So I can ask him, Waffles, do you want to cuddle? And he will either look at me and lay back down, or his tail will start ra wagging really fast, and he'll get up and he'll lay right on my stomach and just lay there forever. Uh, it's one of his favorite pastimes. And uh, so, if he felt like he was in the mood to cuddle, I'd put on some lashes. If he was not in the mood to cuddle, I would uh, not put on lashes. Wolfie, do you want to cuddle? Do you want to cuddle? You do! So, the winner is lashes! Um, honestly, that one was stacked a little on the lashes side because I kind of just wanted to put on some lashes. So, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to pop on some Ardell Demi Wispies real quick. Alright, I'm going to do the other one off camera because this is difficult. Alright, so for bronzer slash contour, I decided that I would see which of the dogs would come in for pets first. Um, I do this thing where if I'm sitting on a couch, or something like that, I can like dangle my arm off the couch and one of them will come to get pets or they will lick my hand or something like that. Um, so that's what I decided to do for this next one. If Waffles does that first, if Rogue does it first, if they somehow tie. By the way, because I'm in Tennessee, our couch is an air mattress. You don't understand, do you? You don't understand. I don't know. Would you call that a tie? Yeah. So I guess I'm calling that one a tie. Rogue decided to skip the hand altogether and go straight for my face. But they both did want attention equally. So I guess that means the winner is Unicorn Tears. I do like bronzer kind of differently I guess. I'm not very precise with it because recently I have not been loving the way a heavy contour looks on my face. I kind of just want like, you know, some slight shading. So for blush I wanted to see which of my dogs obeyed commands better so I asked them to sit. If Rogue sits first, this one. If Waffle sits first, this one. And if they both sit at the same time, it's that one. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready? Oh, here we go. Oh. Waffles. 
You're, you're being preemptive here. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my God, that's like a photo finish. I haven't told you guys to sit yet. Come, come, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, guys. All right, guys. We're gonna change it to whoever lays down first, okay? Ready? Down. Oh, that was a pokey, I think. I think that was Rogue. Yeah, right? Waffles is usually the only one that knows the word down. It's actually kind of funny that Rogue was the winner of this one because Waffles understands the command down and Rogue doesn't. So I had to make sure to actively point downward to make sure both of them knew what I was saying. So Rogue was the winner, which means I get to put this bubblegum pink with my smoky eye, which will look great. It's like a dead doll. I'm gonna make sure to really pack it on there so you know that it is bubblegum pink. Maybe she just wanted to match my hair. So for my highlight, I wanted to give Waffles a chance to redeem himself and show off his skills. I was gonna do like a round robin sort of thing, like anytime he doesn't feel like shaking my hand, one of the products gets eliminated. Waffy, shake. No. Waffy, shake. Shake. Waffy, shake. Waffy, shake. Waffy doodle, shake. Come on. Waffy, shake. Waffy, shake. Pogi, your turn. You're up to bat. You're up to bat, Pogi. Yeah, yeah. Sit right there. Sit. Good girl. Pogi, shake. Pogi, shake. Good girl. Pogi, shake. Not on that one. Pogi, shake. Not on that one. Pogi, shake. Not on that one either. Pogi, shake. Waffy's so low energy today. You're the star. Are you the star today? Your brother didn't want to participate? What are you even doing? Can you at least show the people? Just please at least show the people that you know how to shake. Yeah? Waffy, <laughs> pay attention. Ready? 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 Shake! No. Nothing. He's got nothing going on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> shake! <laughs> baby boy! I will do it! She did the Waffy, shake! <laughs> Waffles, come here! Waffles, sit! Waffles, shake! Good boy! What? What? Good what? boy! So, I asked Waffles to shake, and he was not feeling it, and again, Rogue was there to save the day. So Rogue ended up choosing this uh, Lunch Money by ColourPop and Waffles did not feel like shaking my hand today. A little bit right here, a little bit right there. I like to put a little bit right here, and right here. So for my lips today, I decided to do what uh, all the rest of the videos have been doing, which is pick one. Which always seemed like just a cluster. I'm kind of sad because since we moved to Tennessee, I wasn't able to bring all of the colors that I could have. If we had done this before we moved to Tennessee, there would have been like greens and blues and pinks in there, so a little upsetting, but. All right, doggies, you want it? Oh, Rogue wants to pick. Rogie wants to pick. All right. All right, guys, pick one. Pick one. Go, get it. Nope, nope, they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. This is not gonna go as planned. All right, we'll try, we'll try the lining it up sort of situation. Okay. Okay, well, she touched this one, so we'll just, we'll just go with this. And it turned out just about as well as I expected it to. Like, they're dogs, they don't know what you want from them. So they just kind of like, looked at me and the things and were like, what? I think Rogue, again, the winner of the day, 
decided to sniff one of them and she sniffed this one which is Lana by ColourPop. So we're gonna put that on. Whew. A bit dark on the makeup, Rogue. So I didn't want to leave this video without giving Waffles just one more chance to redeem himself by doing what he does best. Sleeping. My dog Waffles uh, loves to lay on some clothes. So I have three outfits here, randomly chosen from uh, what I brought to Tennessee and I'm just gonna lay them on the floor and see which one Waffles decides to sleep on. Quite the process here. Oh. Come here, Pokey. I think he's chosen this one. Did you choose one? Good boy. Puggy, it's not always about you. Rogue. Uh, this is what your dogs picked for me. Let's get some light on you. Oh, that's kind of nice. No, I think it works. I don't know. You don't think that the lip with the eyeshadow is a little too much? It's a little much. I mean, you still look really pretty. Oh, thank you. All right, so this is the final look that the dogs chose. Really nice dragon dress. Rogue went with a really nice dark lip to complement my dark smoky eye. Just a pop of pink. Waffles, what do you think? You don't care. What do you think? Did you do a good job? Yeah, did you do a good job? Alright, so that was my dogs picking my makeup. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to, you know, do the things, subscribe and such. Let me know down below how you think my dogs did. Real quick, I forgot to mention, if you want more of this little girl right here, I actually filmed the first week or the first like month or something that we had her as a puppy like two years ago, something like that, but I never got around to posting it. So if you want something like that about, about this little girl, huh? about this little girl as a puppy, let me know and I'll post it. Okay. Bye-bye.